Reynaldo Santos, how long have you been doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and who was your mentor who trained you? I have been doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for 23 years and my mentor, my trainer, my second father, the man that he is responsible for all my Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and to help to build my personality is Carson Gracie Senior. How long have you been living in the United States? <laughs> right now, in June 1st, it's going to be 11 years. Those 11 years are divided and they live for seven on California, uh, between LA, south of California, and Berkeley, north of California. In the last four years, I haven't been living here in Orlando, great area in Florida, more specifically in the Winter Garden, where do I have my school. How is Carlson Gracie Central Florida doing? My friend right now is doing great. I have no complaints. I used to say that I am the, one of the most happy teachers on the entire world with the team that I have right now. The school has one year old and I have more than 100 guys in uh, between adults and kids i'm so happy with the results that the all the students have been doing on the several tournaments that i have been put in to compete all the levels i have students from white belt to brown belt several schools around the guys coming to visit black belts from brazil once they are in town, they give me a call and they show up to training to share a technique with us. So right now I'm so happy. I love being here in the Winter Garden and I'm sure that in a couple more years we're going to have one of the stronger teams here in Florida. What do you think about the progression of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in the entire United States? The Brazilian Jiu Jitsu right now, it's, it's great. And uh, I would like to take a couple minutes to talk uh, for a person that he was very, very responsible for the explosion for the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu here. The first one was Horry. Horry, when he moved to the United States, when he created the UFC, he was very, very responsible to make he, the entire world know what about the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, especially about the efficiency about the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. The people has no question right now that he, you cannot go for MMA game without Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Before was one discipline against another discipline and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu proved the superiority among all the, the martial arts. And right now is the best athlete because everybody has been training everything but he, is mandatory. He did go for the uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu to inside the cage. And another one that he is responsible for the Jiu Jitsu, the level that he is right now, especially for the competitions, everything, is Carlos Gracie Jr., the president of the Confederation of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He's been doing a great, 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 great job with uh, high level competitions around the United States. He brought to here the Pan American and after years the world championship be in rio de janeiro the crib of the brazilian jiu-jitsu right now is in los angeles california and we have around 3,000 competitors for each pan-american championship that's the largest uh, tournament on the entire united states i can tell on the entire world so the jiu-jitsu right now is doing great the only problem that i see like the Kung Fu when it came to the United States, the Karate when it came to the United States, you see too many people try to take advantage right now. And of course, the people try to cut the corner. Jiu Jitsu is different than the, an, another martial arts. Uh, several guys for being black belts in Karate, they need to train for two years, three years. In Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is different. I always say that for you be complete in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, you need to you know the Jiu Jitsu with Gi, no gi and the self-defense is very very important 
try and understand that Jiu Jitsu is not only for competition. Competition is that only a few people is going to be able to enjoy your academy and be able to make a part of the competition team. But the aspect for the self-defense, everybody needs to know. And today, this is start going away. You see seven instructors right now open the academy and they only force the people go for the competition uh, aspect. That's one thing that I totally disagree. And because the residents so big here in the United States, several schools right now, they teach too much no gi. Because it's much easier, it's less technical, and the guys, when they hit the purple belt level, or blue belt, several times they don't have a patience, okay? to stay on the same track to they get the black belt. So they cut the corner and the several schools right now start training too much no gi. But the, the funny part of this, the big tournaments, the IBJJF tournaments, you see all the champions, they are the same guys that they compete with gi and the champions with gi. You go for Abu Dhabi championship, that's a no-gi tournament. They have the professional guys over there. They have the judo guys, they have the wrestling guys, they have jiu-jitsu guys, all the best grabbers of the world. You see first and seventh place for each division. They are the guys that train with gi. So I ask, we brought the Brazilian jiu-jitsu to the United States, okay? You see BJ Penn, you see Jose Aldo, you see Anderson Silva, you see Minotauro, you see GSP, you see the best fighters on MMA. When they need to train in Jiu-Jitsu, of course they train in Ogi. I don't say that you, you cannot train, no, you have to, especially if you go to MMA. But they train a lot with Gi. Forgive to them the adjustments, the finesse. You have much more option. You become a much better fighter when you train with Gi and you become much more dangerous when you take the gi off. And right now, the people cut the corner and they like to do the no gi, no gi, no gi, no gi, no gi, all the time. That's the only thing that I ask for everybody, pay attention and realize. When you're looking for a Jiu Jitsu school to train, first, take a look at who's your instructor, his background, everything. This is very, very, very important. And if you're over there, you don't learn the self-defense, Goodbye. Your Jiu Jitsu is not good. Doesn't gonna be good. If you only learn no gi, doesn't gonna be good. I used to say your Jiu Jitsu is gonna be like a handicapped Jiu Jitsu. So we need to work all the aspects. All the aspects. Jiu Jitsu with gi, Jiu Jitsu no gi, and the self defense. Beside that, I have no doubt that today that's the number one martial arts that the people looking for today to train. Even for the law enforcement is a great, 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 great martial arts for the any, any, any police officer training in the United States. I truly believe that he, if the police officer with the training that he received on the academy before he go to the streets or before he work like the sheriffs inside the jail, I truly believe that if he carry under his belt the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu training, he's gonna be a better Jiu Jitsu, a, a better police officer to arrest somebody, to count somebody inside the jail and back home alive and protect the, the community.